assalamu alaikum dear students so today i am going to explain you the control radical polymerization or atom transfer uh, radical polymerization so these are the types of living radical polymerization which uh, can be used to, to synthesize polymer so what are control radical polymerization control radical polymerization uh, is very important because the synthesis of polymer with well defined composition architectures and functionality are the goal or the interest of polymer chemistry and this can be done with the development of control or living radical polymerization technique so this is the goal of a polymer chemist all of these methods are based on establishing a dynamic equilibrium between uh, a small amount of growing free radical and a large majority of dormant species what is atrp as the name indicate uh, atrp stand for atom transfer radical polymerization which originate from the atom transfer step which is the key elementary reaction responsible for the uniform growth of polymer chains atrp is similar to traditional free radical polymerization which consists of initiation propagation and chain transfer step uh, transition in this case uh, uh, the transition uh, metals actually mediate this process by a redox process is a general uh, mechanism in which we have an initi initiator alkyl halide and we have a catalyst complex so uh, we can't add any monomer to this initiator until we when we make a free radical and uh, this catalyst is in the active state this is converted to this complex in active state we can't add a monomer in this way to make a polymer but we can add once we have a free radical and uh, the initiation can start to make active monomer and equilibrium is established between this dormant polymer chain in which the halide uh, is transferred to this polymer from the inactive catalyst so this is inactive catalyst this is active catalyst this is active monomer this is dormant uh polymer chain so uh, this is an equilibrium between uh, active catalyst inactive catalyst active polymer chain inactive polymer chain so this equilibrium uh, can control the growth of polymer chain or molecular weight so that's why it is called control radical polymerization and the next step uh, the the propagation in which we are adding more monomer to the growing polymer chain active polymer chain and similarly uh, an equilibrium is established uh, between the dormant state and dormant state we can't add any monomer but once we have uh, the concentration of free radical is reduced due to some reason so the equilibrium is shifted automatically and the polymerization continue uh, we have the same uh, termination step in which two uh, growing uh, polymer chain uh, radical they combine together by combination and we are getting uh, a dead polymer or we have a disproportionation in which we have a redox reaction oxidation reduction so one species is reduced addition of hydrogen and another is oxidized this is the general scheme of control radical polymerization so these are different kinds so you can see here one two three so the first one is our focus that is atom transfer radical polymerization in which we have a uh, dormant polymer chain and active polymer chain produced and more monomer are added and we have a propagation rate constant and this is termination when we have two growing radical they combine together and this is the mechanism of raft and this is for nitroxide mediated polymerization so for the time being we are just focusing on atom transfer radical polymerization 
this is the same scheme taken from the same review uh, this is alkyl halide initiator this is our uh, catalyst complex so catalyst complex is converted into higher oxidation state and we have a pre radical uh, which is active uh, to propagate the polymer chain it uh, the pore components of atrp that is monomer initiator catalyst and solvent so different monomers can be polymerization uh, polymerized uh, using uh, uh, atrp such as vinyl uh, acrylate methacrylate or acrylamide so these are different kind of monomers that can be polymerized using atrp similarly we have initiator uh, so atrp uh, has advantages that is it has tolerance to different functional groups such as hydroxy amino amido ester etc you can see from here that different uh, group consists of initiator in addition to the ecto halide uh, side so this group uh, has advantages for further functionalization or further application the important characteristic of the initiator the, uh, the initiator should have weak halogen heteroatoms that uh, is can be activated by the presence of carbonyl group so these are ester group so they are uh, that's why this halide group is active in this initiator another important component uh, that is which is most important in atrp that is the catalyst because it determines the position of the equilibrium and a dynamic exchange between the dormant and active species we have seen in the mechanism the metal uh, should have characteristic that uh, it has at least two readily accessible oxidation states separated by one electron and it has good affinity toward a halogen and the ligand should make a complex strongly with this uh, transition metal catalyst uh, the important uh, the last important point uh, in atrp uh, the component is solvent so we uh, we have already discussed that polymerization can be carried out in bulk we don't have any solvent or in solution we have homogeneous solution or in emulsion or suspension so these are kinds of polymerization we already discussed uh, various kinds of solvents can be used uh, such as organic solvent benzene toluene any sol or dmep or uh, maybe uh, we can use polar solvents such as alcohol and water so which are quite environmental friendly atrp process so what actually happen in atrp uh, we have seen in a mechanism that uh, the transition metal act as a catalyst and alkyl halide as initiator so these were our starting point in the process a transition metal complex activate a dormant species for the generation of free radical so we have a initiator in the dormant state and it transition state uh, uh, transition metal catalyst or complex it take the halide and create a free radical so that is our initiation the transition metal is by itself uh, oxidized to a higher oxidation state and uh, the important point which i made bold i highlighted atrp is uh, a reversible process uh, is an, an equilibrium is established and that equilibrium actually shift or uh, inclined toward the side with low radical concentration so if you have low radical concentration so the equilibrium automatically shift to that direction and if you have more enough concentration it is going toward back side or the dormant state so we don't have uh, excess or sufficient initiator uh, uh, free radical that will cause our reaction to terminate so we have control so atrp result in the formation of polymer with narrow molecular weight range due to the tendency of each chain to go with the monomer because the number of initiator defines the number of chains so this is very important uh, this is uh, uh, the same a very simple mechanism of atrp we have a dormant uh, initiator and this is the transition metal complex in lower oxidation state so a radical is produced and uh, this complex abstract this halide from this uh, initiator 
and we have uh, a higher excitation state transition metal complex and uh, this radical combined with the monomer and we have an ecto polymer uh, chain growing and this make an equilibrium automatically with the dormant polymer chain and transition metal in the lower oxidation state that is ecto and this is enecto so on one side we have ecto enecto species on another side we have enecto ecto species so this equilibrium can shift and we have equilibrium constant between the ecto red constant and uh, enecto red constant so this equilibrium determine our process uh, salient feature or important characteristic of living radical polymerization to achieve a living radical polymerization chain termination reaction should be suppressed so we shouldn't have uh, uh, termination that is uh, can be suppressed uh, by uh, when we have equilibrium between uh, active and inactive and a true living process in the presence of radical is not possible because we if we have enough or sufficient or excess radical then uh, we don't have living nature we have automatically termination to radical combined together and we have termination and due to the very fast diffusion control because it can be controlled by diffusion only if we have longer molecule it can't diffuse otherwise we have bimolecular radical termination however it is possible to design a controlled radical polymerization similar to living process if propagate Propagating radicals are in dynamic equilibrium with larger amount of dormant species. So this is in the mechanism if we have dormant species exist in our reserve and we can make use of this with the passage of time. So it can't. Okay, so we have limitation in uh, classical ATRP that is uh, uh, it uses large amount of catalysts related to monomer so the final product contain are contaminated with the large amount of catalyst uh, this can be done to remove the catalyst from the final product or carry out the reaction at low catalyst concentration but this is a problem uh, because the catalyst cannot be reduced or decreased to low concentration because of the impossible termination reaction then we have a termination reaction so we don't have uh, a dormant state this problem can be solved by using uh, another technique, advanced technique that is uh, activators generated by electron transfer that is AGET, ATRP, which is an improved technique uh, which uh, involves the introduction of reducing agent. Uh, reducing agent is used to reduce the higher oxidation state metal complex catalyst and to generate the ecto catalyst that is the lower oxidation state metal complex in situ from conventional radical initiator and the higher oxidation state deactivated so that was the initial stage i am going to explain in the mechanism in situ means inside the reaction vessel uh, classical atrp has an ability to produce clean block copolymers because we are uh, we should carry out reaction uh, simultaneously because if oxygen is uh, entered into our system then uh, we can't uh, reactivate uh, because the catalyst once used is expired but in AGE then with the simple mechanism of AGATRP in which we have uh, a catalyst transition metal uh, catalyst complex in higher oxidation state when we add uh, a reducing agent uh, we have uh, we are getting uh, an active catalyst and this active catalyst react with the ATRP initiator and we have a free radical generating and the uh, catalyst is converted to higher oxidation state this higher oxidation state we can reprocess by adding to a reducing agent so we can add reducing agent slowly uh, that uh, we can get a uniform polymer chain instead of adding uh, abruptly uh, in the same way we got uh, free radical this free radical can propagate by addition of more monomer and this also can uh, propagate uh, can uh, terminate the reaction the common uh, reducing agent for AGT ATRP or these are this is a list of although there are more uh, but the ascorbic acid most generally used for this kind of uh, 